Hi, I made the pink portal. Now before we begin, don't expect this to be a professional porter. I thought it's just like a $50 machine. $50? Special price for you then. That's 11 times cheaper than the cheapest axle. And that's if you don't already have some of the really common components lying around, which you probably do. What's more, you don't even need a 3D printer, although having one would help the accuracy. Whilst the plots look like potato compared to the much more expensive Axie drawers, they look pretty decent on their own. I mean, I couldn't draw this by hand. For the electronics, you'll need an Arduino with an Atomega 328P chip. I use the Nuno here, but you can also use the Nano as well since they tend to be cheaper. Next on the list, there are the stepper motors. You need to use steppers here because they move in distinct control steps, hence the name. I use the very cheap 28BYJ48 steppers here because, well, they're cheap. They come included in many Arduino kits and you probably have a couple of them. Make sure to buy the 5 volt version, not the 12 volt one, because we'll be overvolting them to 12 volts to get more torque. You'll need two of these. For the set access, I use a stepper motor from my DVD reader. You can usually find DVD readers for free or very cheap, and they're quite easy to disassemble. If you can't find a DVD reader on its own, you can also get an old PC with one. It's better to use one made for a PC instead of a laptop, because the PC ones usually have a bigger stepper motor with more torque. To drive the stepper motors, I use the A4988 drivers because they are A, uh, not too expensive, and B, they drive the motors in bipolar mode, which increases their torque therefore increasing the max speed. Finally, you'll want to have five of these limit switches, which you can find for pretty cheap online. They allow you to hone the machine and basically prevent it from breaking itself. For the body of the plotter, I use some 21mm round conduit. The movement mechanism consists of a GT2 belt, so you'll need at least 3 meters of this, two pulleys, and eight idlers in a correct XY configuration. It may seem a little complicated, but it's quite simple. There are two loops of the belt, I've highlighted them in red and blue. When motor A spins clockwise, the pen moves diagonally to the bottom left. And when it spins anti-clockwise, the pen moves to the upper right. The same but flipped is true for motor B. These four movements can be combined to make the pen move in any direction. I'll put links down in the description for a more detailed explanation of the core XY mechanism. As I said before, I overvolted the 5V motors to 12 volts. Which means that they do heat up a bit, but the torque increases threefold. This shouldn't harm them, as they're fine up to 150 degrees Celsius. That's 302 degrees Fahrenheit for all you Americans. However, I'd still recommend strapping on a heatsink, as I've done here. Just make sure to put some thermal paste between the motor and the heatsink. For the formula, I'm using GRBL. Whilst it was originally made for CNC machines, it also works well for a pen plotter. It essentially receives the G code from the computer and translates it to motion on the motors. To install it on the Arduino, go to the GRBL install guide, link in the description, and follow the instructions. Before you upload, you need to change the config.h file first. First, scroll down and uncomment the fine core XY. Then, scroll up to the homing cycle. You, you need to comment out this line, and uncomment these two lines. Next, we still want to have homing on the z-axis, so change this 0 to a 1, and change this 1 to a 2. We need to do this because we're using a core XY setup. Therefore, we can't home both the X and Y axes simultaneously. I have two limit switches on each end of the X and Y axes and a single limit switch on the Z axis. The X and Y axes switches are connected in series and I've also built this mini circuit to filter out the noise on the connections to prevent false triggers. There will be a link to the schematics in the description. That's it for the build. Now the pen goes in like this, and then you just screw these bolts in to hold it. Anyway, that's about it for this video.